John, a middle-aged father, was going through his daughter Evelyn's backpack when he stumbled upon a strange note. His heart skipped a beat as he unfolded the paper, finding cryptic words scrawled in untidy handwriting. The message was vague, but its threatening undertone sent chills down his spine. He felt a surge of protective panic. Something about this note wasn't right, and he knew he had to act fast. Panicking, John quickly called Evelyn to come downstairs. His voice was sharp and urgent, slicing through the quiet of their home. As Evelyn descended the stairs, John couldn't keep his eyes off the ominous note. She arrived in the living room, her eyes wide with curiosity and slight apprehension. John held up the note, demanding to know where it had come from, needing answers before his anxiety consumed him. Evelyn explained that the note was handed to her by her history teacher, Mr. Thompson. She had initially thought nothing of it, assuming it was some routine communication. John's heart sank further. The very person he had trusted to educate his daughter was now tied to this disturbing message. Evelyn's casual delivery did nothing to abate his growing concern. He needed to understand why her teacher would give her such a note. John's hands shook as he read the note again, its vague but threatening language troubling him deeply. Each word seemed to pulsate with a sinister intent that made his skin crawl. Evelyn, remember what we talked about. Be ready, it said. John couldn't fathom what it meant by be ready and his imagination ran wild with dark possibilities. The note was a riddle, one that he felt compelled to solve immediately. With growing concern, John decided to call 911 to report the note. His fingers trembled as he dialed the number, his mind racing through the potential dangers awaiting his daughter. The dispatcher picked up quickly, and John's voice was tight with urgency as he explained the situation. Describing the note's contents and his fears, he felt a knot in his stomach tighten, hoping the authorities would take this as seriously as he did. Evelyn watched her father's face turn pale as he explained the situation to the dispatcher. She could see the gravity of the situation etched into his furrowed brow and tense posture. Her curiosity had transformed into worry. She'd never seen her father like this. As he finished the call and finally hung up, his hand was shaking. The rare sight of her confident father so visibly frightened unsettled her deeply. Evelyn watched her father's face turn pale as he explained the situation to the dispatcher. She could see the gravity of the situation etched into his furrowed brow and tense posture. Her curiosity had transformed into worry. She'd never seen her father like this. As he finished the call and finally hung up, his hand was shaking. The rare sight of her confident father so visibly frightened unsettled her deeply. The police arrived at their home within minutes, taking the note as evidence. John led them into the living room, where Evelyn sat nervously on the edge of the couch. The officers carefully examined the paper, their expressions shifting from curiosity to serious concern. They spoke in low, hurried tones, discussing the potential implications. John and Evelyn waited anxiously, their living room now an impromptu scene for a police investigation. Detective Lawson interviewed John and Evelyn about the circumstances surrounding the note's discovery. Sitting at the kitchen table, John detailed finding the note in Evelyn's backpack and his immediate reaction. Evelyn recounted her day at school, explaining how Mr. Thompson had handed her the note without much explanation. Lawson's questions were methodical designed to extract every bit of information. He seemed particularly focused on Mr. Thompson's behavior. Evelyn recounted her interactions with Mr. Thompson, noting nothing seemed out of the ordinary. She described him as a strict but fair teacher, someone who had never shown any signs of odd behavior. Detective Lawson listened intently, scribbling notes in his black notebook. Evelyn tried to remember every detail, no matter how small hoping it might help illuminate why her teacher would give her such a cryptic note. The police decided to visit the school and speak with the administration and staff. Detective Lawson coordinated with his team as they prepared to dig deeper into the mystery. 
Evelyn felt a mix of relief and apprehension knowing that her school would soon be swarming with police officers. She couldn't predict how her classmates or teachers would react, but she hoped the investigation would bring some clarity to their unsettling situation. John dropped Evelyn off at school the next day, the tension between them palpable. The ride had been quiet, each absorbed in their own thoughts about what the day might bring. John's eyes scanned the campus warily, as if expecting a threat to leap out from behind the school's facade. Evelyn offered a small, worried smile before stepping out, while John watched her disappear into the bustling student crowd. At school, Evelyn attempted to go about her day but struggled to focus due to the morning's events. Her mind kept wandering back to the note and her father's frightened expression. She found it hard to concentrate in class, the teacher's lessons becoming a blur of words. She noticed other students were unusually quiet too, as if her unease had spread invisibly through the corridors and classrooms. Mr. Thompson was notably absent from class, adding to the growing unease. The substitute teacher, who knew nothing of the situation, tried to maintain the lesson's flow, but the student's distraction was palpable. Evelyn couldn't shake the feeling that her teacher's absence was somehow connected to the note. She glanced around at her classmates, wondering if anyone else had any idea what was going on and where Mr. Thompson could be. During lunch, Evelyn overheard her classmates whispering about rumors involving Mr. Thompson. Conversations were hushed but pervasive as groups of students tried to piece together what little information they had. One group speculated that Mr. Thompson was in trouble, while another thought he might be on some secret mission. Evelyn sat with her friends, pretending to eat but listening intently, hoping to catch any useful tidbits of information. Teachers and students alike seemed to be on edge, the mysterious note causing widespread speculation. The normally bustling hallways were quieter, filled with uncertain glances and hurried conversations. Even the teachers seemed subdued, their usual authoritative tones softer. Evelyn noticed how the mystery had everyone walking on eggshells. Each person's curiosity mingled with an underlying apprehension about what might be revealed next in this unfolding drama. Later, Evelyn was called to the principal's office, where she was asked to recount her interactions with Mr. Thompson again. She walked down the hall with a knot in her stomach, feeling the weight of curious gazes on her back. In the office, the principal and a couple of detectives were waiting. They asked her once more to detail every interaction she had with Mr. Thompson, their questions insistent and probing. Evelyn tried to remember every detail amidst interruptions by her own nervousness. She spoke hesitantly, trying to recall anything unusual about her conversations with Mr. Thompson. Each word felt like it had to be perfect, as if one incorrect statement might derail the entire investigation. The detectives listened carefully, occasionally jotting down notes. Evelyn's heart raced, the sense of importance and scrutiny making it hard to keep her thoughts straight. Detective Lawson reviewed school security footage, focusing on Mr. Thompson's recent behavior. He sat in a dimly lit room, the glow of multiple screens casting shadows on his face. Footage from the past week showed Mr. Thompson going about his usual routine, but Lawson was looking for subtleties, a strange look, an odd movement, anything that hinted at the story behind the cryptic note. Each clip was scrutinized thoroughly. Footage revealed Mr. Thompson entering his classroom with a troubled expression many times over the past week. He appeared more distracted, pausing frequently as if lost in thought or worry. Lawson took note of these behaviors, considering what might be causing such distress. This added another piece to the puzzle, suggesting that the teacher had been grappling with something personal, possibly dangerous, for quite some time before handing Evelyn the note. Lawson and his team began interviewing other teachers and staff members. They moved efficiently through the school, speaking to anyone who might shed light on Mr. Thompson's recent conduct. Each interview sought to uncover patterns or incidents that might explain his strange behavior and the note he gave Evelyn. Teachers spoke of Mr. Thompson's recent aloofness, while staff members noticed him working late hours, 
adding further layers to the unfolding mystery. Evelyn returned home that evening to find her father John in deep discussion with the lead detective, Detective Lawson. The atmosphere in the room was tense, every word exchanged between them laced with urgency. Evelyn quietly set her backpack down and tried to catch snippets of their conversation. Lawson's voice was calm but firm as he explained the latest developments, John nodding along, his face a mixture of concern and determination. John's anxiety increased as the investigation unfolded with few concrete answers. The note weighed heavily on his mind, and he found himself constantly checking his phone for updates from Detective Lawson. Conversations at the dinner table were infrequent, the silence punctuated by occasional sighs and worried glances. Evelyn noticed her father's restlessness, his distracted demeanor a stark contrast to his usual composed self. In a quieter moment, Lawson discussed possible leads he was developing from the staff interviews. He believed that someone among them might hold a crucial piece of information. The detective's methodical approach was evident as he laid out the connections he had discovered, each one meticulously cross-referenced. Evelyn listened intently, hoping for some clarity, while John kept interjecting with questions, his need for reassurance evident in every word he uttered. The teacher's lounge became a focal point for detectives who searched for connections and clues. Lawson instructed his team to check every corner and piece of furniture, leaving no stone unturned. Teachers observed from a distance as the investigation spread through what was once their private respite. Whispers circulated about what the detectives might find. Each staff member scrutinized more than ever before. Everyone seemed to hold their breath in anticipation. Despite the ongoing chaos, Evelyn tried to keep up with her homework. She spread her books out on the kitchen table, forcing herself to focus on the assignments at hand. The noise of her father pacing and his hushed phone conversations with Detective Lawson served as a background hum. Evelyn scribbled notes, pausing occasionally to listen in, but ultimately managing to complete her tasks. School still demanded her attention, no matter the circumstances. At school, Evelyn's friends bombarded her with questions she couldn't answer. They gathered around her locker, their faces a mix of curiosity and concern. What's going on with Mr. Thompson? Do you know where he is? Her friends tried to piece together the puzzle, each theory more outlandish than the last. Evelyn could only shrug and repeat that she knew as much as they did, hoping they'd soon lose interest and move on. Rumors about Mr. Thompson's disappearance intensified as more details emerged. Whispers filled the school hallways, each one wilder than the last. Some students claimed he was involved in something illegal, while others thought he had simply run away. Even teachers couldn't avoid the speculation as students pressed them for information. Evelyn overheard snippets everywhere she went, each new rumor adding to her mounting anxiety about what might really be happening. Evelyn discovered a second note in her locker containing an ominous message. Her hands shook as she unfolded the paper, her eyes widening at the cryptic words, meet me where the light falls. It made little sense, but felt deeply unsettling. The realization that someone was intentionally leaving her these notes filled her with dread. She quickly shoved the paper into her backpack, glancing over her shoulder to see if anyone was watching. Terrified, Evelyn ran to the school office to report the new note to the authorities. She burst through the doors, doubled over and gasping for breath. The secretary looked up startled, immediately ushering Evelyn into the principal's office. Evelyn handed over the note, her voice trembling as she explained where she found it. The principal wasted no time, picking up the phone to call Detective Lawson, ensuring he was brought up to speed. Detective Lawson rushed to the school to secure the new piece of evidence. Upon arriving, he quickly met with the principal and Evelyn in the office. Lawson took the note, examining it closely while scribbling notes of his own. His face grew more serious by the moment. He thanked Evelyn for her quick action, then spoke with the principal about tightening security measures. The situation was escalating rapidly, and every second counted. 
John was called to the school, his panic clearly evident as he spoke with Lawson. The rushing thoughts made him barely able to hear the principal's words. He was ushered into a small conference room where Evelyn was seated, her eyes red from crying. Mr. Lawson explained the situation, trying to calm John's nerves, but the grim look on his face suggested things were worse than they initially seemed. Evelyn tried her best to recount her last interactions with Mr. Thompson once again. She explained how Mr. Thompson seemed distracted during their last lesson and how he handed her the note with an almost furtive glance. She described her attempts to talk to him, but he had brushed off her questions. Her father listened intently, gripping the armrest of his chair. Every detail was now vital. Detectives sobered the mood by highlighting the seriousness of the situation. They spoke in low tones, going over every detail with a fine-tooth comb. They discussed possible motives and potential threats. The room felt heavier with every word they spoke. John kept a keen eye on the detectives, hoping they could bring some clarity to this baffling situation. Their concerned expressions did little to ease his anxiety. Evelyn's friends grew distant, wary of becoming entangled in the unfolding drama. Hallway whispers and sidelong glances became her new norm. Social gatherings were now tinged with awkward silences whenever she entered the room. Some friends even avoided her altogether. The isolation was palpable, leaving her feeling more alone than ever before. Rumors and fear had driven a wedge between her and the people she once confided in. Tensions reached a peak when the school announced a temporary lockdown for security purposes. Alarms blared, and students were ushered into classrooms as teachers locked doors. The initial shock quickly gave way to a tense stillness. Everyone waited for updates, hearts pounding. The announcement over the intercom only fueled the anxiety. Evelyn stayed put, her father's worried face flashing across her mind. Things were now beyond serious. Fear and suspicion gripped the school. The lockdown added to the atmosphere of fear and suspicion that had gripped the school. It felt like the walls were closing in as rumors swirled and speculation ran rampant. Teachers whispered in huddled groups while students shared wild theories. The air was thick with tension. Principal Lawson tried to maintain calm, but even his usually composed demeanor betrayed a hint of worry. Everyone was on edge. John requests daily updates. Evelyn's father grew increasingly anxious and requested updates from the police daily. John would call every evening, his voice tense with worry as he asked for any new developments. The lack of substantial progress gnawed at him. The detectives appreciated his concern, but had little to offer. John's restless nights were filled with thoughts of his daughter's safety, and he couldn't shake the overwhelming sense of dread. The detectives meticulously examined the new note for fingerprints and clues. Each line was scrutinized for hidden meanings, every smudge analyzed. They handled the piece of paper as though it were a crucial piece of evidence in a high-profile case. It was a painstaking process, but necessary for uncovering any potential leads. The urgency in their actions mirrored the escalating gravity of the situation, making every second count. Students and parents were briefed about the security measures and ongoing investigation. A special assembly was held where Principal Lawson and the head of security addressed the crowd. They detailed new protocols and reassured everyone of their safety. Evelyn sat among her peers, her father's hand gripping hers tightly. The atmosphere was one of cautious optimism, though everyone understood the severity of the circumstances looming over them. Rumors continued to swirl, with some students speculating about Mr. Thompson's personal life. Whispers about his strange behavior and mysterious absences filled the hallways. Some said he had a secret past, while others believed he was involved in something sinister. Evelyn couldn't escape the incessant buzz of gossip. Each story grew more outrageous, turning the school into a hotbed of intrigue and suspicion, adding layers to an already complicated situation. Evelyn couldn't escape the whispers and felt more isolated as the days went by. The constant murmurs and sidelong glances from classmates made her feel like an outcast. Even her closest friends seemed distant, 
unsure how to approach her without bringing up the distressing events. The weight of the mystery surrounding Mr. Thompson and the note pressed heavily on her shoulders, making each day an exhausting ordeal. Detective Lawson visited Mr. Thompson's home, hoping to find any additional evidence. The house appeared ordinary at first, but a thorough search revealed some intriguing details. Old photographs, journal entries, and peculiar artifacts raised more questions than answers. Lawson meticulously documented everything, hoping to piece together the puzzle. He left the house with a nagging feeling that something crucial was still eluding them, intensifying the mystery even further. Neighbors reported seeing Mr. Thompson acting erratically on several occasions. Some mentioned late-night walks where he would mutter to himself, while others recounted strange noises coming from his house. A few even claimed he had been seen digging in his backyard at odd hours. These accounts painted a picture of a man increasingly disconnected from reality. The detectives noted each observation, hoping they might provide a lead to understanding his behavior. The dearth of reliable leads frustrated the detectives, setting the investigation back. Each new piece of information seemed to contradict the last, turning the case into a labyrinth of dead ends and false starts. Frustration grew as days turned into weeks, with no clear answers in sight. The detectives held late-night meetings, brainstorming ways to break the case open. Despite their efforts, tangible progress remained painfully elusive, testing everyone's patience. Evelyn's grades began to slip as she struggled to cope with the situation. The stress of the ongoing investigation and the social isolation took a toll on her academic performance. Her once meticulous notes became disorganized, and her attention in class wavered. Teachers noticed the change, but were unsure how to address it without exacerbating her stress. Evelyn felt overwhelmed, her usual motivation buried under the weight of her worries. John attended a school meeting where concerned parents demanded answers. The auditorium buzzed with anxious conversations as parents voiced their fears and frustrations. Principal Lawson and the detectives attempted to provide updates and reassure everyone, but the tension was palpable. John listened intently, his concern for Evelyn mirrored in the faces around him. Arguments and questions flew, highlighting the community's desperation for clarity and security in these unsettling times. Detectives decided to bring in a forensic psychologist to analyze the notes. The psychologist meticulously reviewed each note looking for hidden patterns, psychological markers, or any trace of the author's state of mind. Their expertise added a new dimension to the investigation, shedding light on nuances the detectives had missed. Although initial findings were inconclusive, the psychologist believed the notes indicated a deeper psychological struggle, potentially unlocking new avenues for inquiry. Evelyn attended a counseling session arranged by the school to help her manage stress the counselor, a kind woman named Ms. Harper, welcomed her into the cozy office. They talked about Evelyn's fears, her struggles with academics, and the pressure of the ongoing investigation. Ms. Harper offered coping strategies and encouraged Evelyn to open up about her feelings. The session provided a comforting space, a small recipe from the Cheos outside. The counselor encouraged Evelyn to focus on positive aspects of her life amid the chaos. They discussed her interests, hobbies, and the people who supported her. Ms. Harper suggested daily gratitude exercises and mindfulness techniques to help Evelyn stay grounded. They also set small, achievable goals to rebuild her confidence in school. The session ended with Evelyn feeling a bit lighter, understanding that even in uncertainty, there could be moments of calm. Evelyn started keeping a journal to document her thoughts and experiences. Each night, she would sit at her desk, pouring her feelings onto the pages. The act of writing became a therapeutic ritual, helping her process the day's events and emotions. She noted down everything from fleeting interactions to her deepest fears. The journal became a confidant of sorts, allowing her to navigate the turbulent waters of her current reality. John grew paranoid, constantly checking on Evelyn's whereabouts for safety. 
he double-checked the locks on doors and windows each night, a ritual that offered him some semblance of control but also highlighted his anxiety. He installed cameras around the house, turning their home into a fortress. He even considered changing Evelyn's school, but she begged to stay, not wanting to disrupt her life even further. Evelyn and her father reluctantly appeared on a local news program to discuss the note. The bright studio lights and probing questions made them uneasy, but they felt it necessary to raise awareness. They shared their story, hoping that public exposure might lead to helpful tips or uncover new information. The segment ended with a plea for anyone with relevant knowledge to come forward, leaving viewers both intrigued and concerned. The news segment led to a flood of public tips, most of which proved to be dead ends. People called in with wild theories, possible sightings, and vague recollections that ultimately didn't lead anywhere productive. The sheer volume of information overwhelmed the detectives who had to sift through each tip meticulously. False leads and red herrings added to the frustration and complexity of the investigation, leaving everyone feeling further from answers. Detective Lawson's team organized all the tips and followed up on the more promising ones. They worked around the clock, tirelessly chasing down each lead. Some tips took them across town, meeting with individuals who claimed to have vital info. Despite the many disappointments, their persistence paid off with glimpses of potential breakthroughs. Each promising tip fueled their determination, giving the team renewed hope they were closing in on the truth. Security footage from nearby businesses was reviewed to track Mr. Thompson's movements. The grainy videos provided fragmented glimpses of his activities in the days leading up to his disappearance. The detectives painstakingly analyzed each frame, looking for patterns or anomalies. Some footage showed him visiting familiar locations, while others hinted at possible secret meetings. This led the team to new clues, piecing together the puzzle bit by bit. An inconspicuous, dark sedan seen near the school became a focal point of the investigation. The vehicle had appeared in multiple security camera shots, but didn't seem to belong to anyone related to the school. The detectives ran the license plate through their database, hoping to find the owner. The mysterious car's presence added another layer of complexity, leaving everyone wondering about its driver's role in the unfolding events. Evelyn had a breakthrough when her friend Kelly mentioned seeing Mr. Thompson with a stranger. The casual conversation turned critical as Kelly detailed the encounter. According to her, Mr. Thompson appeared agitated, as if in a heated discussion. This revelation took the investigation in a new direction, giving the detectives a fresh lead to follow. Evelyn and Kelly's friendship grew stronger as they bonded over their shared concern and curiosity. Kelly described the stranger's appearance, providing a new direction for the police. She remembered the individual as tall, with dark hair, and a distinctive scar on his left cheek. This description was detailed enough to create a composite sketch, which the detectives hoped would trigger someone's memory. They shared the sketch with local law enforcement agencies and the media, hoping to uncover the identity of the mysterious figure. The police issued a public request for any information about the stranger's identity. The composite sketch was broadcast on TV, shared on social media, and posted around town. Tips began to pour in, some with vague descriptions, while others seemed promising. The detectives sorted through the new leads, hopeful that they were closing in. The stranger's face became the centerpiece of the investigation, representing a possible key to solving the mystery. The investigation quickly escalated. Detectives gathered, poring over security footage and interviewing staff. Evelyn was called in, her nerves frayed as she recounted every interaction with her teacher, trying to piece together the puzzle of the alarming note. The detectives' sudden rush out of the room hinted they had made a startling discovery. By the next day, the school was abuzz with rumors and half-truths about the missing teacher and the mysterious note. Evelyn was called in, her nerves frayed as she recounted every interaction with her teacher, trying to piece together the puzzle of the alarming note. She described their usual conversations, 
the assignments he gave her, and any odd behavior she noticed. The detectives took extensive notes, asking detailed questions about specific incidents. The weight of her words made Evelyn realize the gravity of the situation, adding to her growing anxiety. Detectives interviewed more students, cross-checking stories for consistency. Each student provided a small piece of the larger puzzle. Some remembered seeing Mr. Thompson in unusual places, while others mentioned overhearing odd conversations. The detectives worked tirelessly to piece together these snippets, hoping to find a common thread. Each interview lasted about an hour, making the day long for everyone involved, but potentially rewarding for the investigation. Analyzing security footage from different angles became top priority. Multiple cameras around the school offered various perspectives, each potentially revealing crucial information. Detectives meticulously reviewed hours of footage, looking for anything unusual or out of place. They zoomed in on suspicious movements and tracked Mr. Thompson's path throughout the school. Even the smallest, seemingly insignificant details were given attention as they could hold the key to solving the mystery. A surprising development occurred when Mr. Thompson's car was found abandoned in a remote part of town. The location raised immediate questions as it was far from his usual routes. The police cordoned off the area, treating it as a potential crime scene. Detectives searched the car meticulously, hoping to find any clues that might hint at his whereabouts. The discovery of the car offered a promising yet mysterious lead. Technicians dusted the vehicle for prints and found partial matches to known criminal records. The prints led to a few suspects with criminal histories related to abductions and extortions. The discovery raised the stakes of the investigation, adding urgency to find Mr. Thompson. Detectives ran background checks on the suspects and planned to bring them in for questioning. The new clues injected momentum into the investigation, pushing everyone to work even harder. Detectives rushed out of the room with newfound urgency, hinting at a startling discovery. They gathered their evidence and headed to an undisclosed location, leaving Evelyn and her classmates in suspense. The air buzzed with tension as everyone speculated what the detectives had found. The mystery seemed to be unraveling quickly, making the school community nervous yet hopeful. The sudden burst of activity indicated that significant progress was being made. By the next day, the school was abuzz with rumors and half-truths about the missing teacher and the mysterious note. Students exchanged theories and whispered conversations during breaks. Some speculated about secret lives and hidden agendas, while others spread wild conspiracy theories. The teachers struggled to maintain order, aware that the unfolding drama had grabbed everyone's attention. The hallways were alive with chatter, making it impossible to focus on anything else. Evelyn tried to concentrate on her classes, but the glances and whispers made it impossible. Her friends and even strangers kept asking about the note, turning her into an unwilling center of attention. The pressure to answer everyone's questions distracted her from her studies. Teachers noticed her struggles but weren't sure how to help amidst the chaos. The heightened curiosity and concern from her peers only added to her stress. The school seemed to hold its breath, waiting for the next piece of the puzzle to fall into place. Lessons continued, but the focus was elsewhere. Students and faculty alike were on edge, eagerly anticipating the latest news about Mr. Un Thompson. Break times turned into speculative forums where everyone shared what they had heard. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation, a shared feeling of being on the cusp of a revelation. The police scheduled a press conference, revealing new evidence in the ongoing investigation. Reporters gathered, microphones ready, as the lead detective stepped up to the podium. The public eagerly tuned in, hoping for answers. The detective shared updates, including recently discovered leads and suspects under investigation. Despite the new information, many questions remained. The conference ended with a plea for continued vigilance and cooperation, keeping everyone engaged and hopeful for resolution. Did you like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. 
If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.